Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing case-led data interpretation. First of all, uh, we need to read the information carefully. Based on that information, uh, we need to solve the questions accordingly. Here, the uh, in case-led data interpretation, uh, information will be provided uh, in terms of a uh, passage. In terms of a uh, passage, uh, so some passage, some passage will be given. For that particular passage, information is there. Uh, that particular information is whatever the information. Uh, previously, we also did uh, one. Uh, we, we discussed about one problem. <coughs> now we'll see another one. See, uh, here the information which is uh, given in this passage is in a college there are thousand seats are available for different branches ECE, Triple E, CSC, IT, Mechanical, Civil, and uh, Agriculture. Total we are having a uh, three plus uh, four. Three plus four. Uh, Seven total seven branches ECE, Triple E, CSC, IT, Mechanical, Civil, and Agriculture, and total number of seats available are thousand. That is the information about it. Now, in each and every branch, how many seats are available? That information is uh, given as follows. Once look at the information, number of seats for ECE is one fourth of total number of uh, seats. So, it is very clear that number of seats for ECE which is equal to one fourth, one fourth of total number of seats available which is equal to thousand, right? One fourth of thousand that value is 250. One fourth of thousand that value is 250. And next, uh, from this point, as the total value is here, I am writing the total value. Initial total is 1000. Once it is done, 250 is uh, completed. Still you left over with uh, 750. Still you left over with uh, 750 seats. Now look at the next statement. Number of triple E seats are. Now we are talking about triple E. Number of triple E seats are. One sixth of the remaining seats. One sixth of the remaining remaining seats are 750 some people what they will do is uh, they will take a uh, one sixth of total he is not uh, telling that uh, one sixth of total he is telling that one sixth of remaining here this is the remaining value remaining value is 750 after uh, completion of ec branch so you need to take 750 seats at this position now you just cancel with the uh, six table 6, 1s are 6 and next 6, 2s are 3 is left over 30, 30 means 6, 5s are 125. Now, 125 is completed for triply. Now, what is the remaining value left over? This is 5 and this is 2 and this is 6. 625. 625. Number of seats which are uh, <coughs> available. Number of seats which are available that is. Uh, 625 after completing uh, ECE and Triple E. Now look at the next one. Number of mechanical seats sir. Here we are talking about mechanical. Now the number of mechanical seats sir, 40 less than the number of ECE seats. It is very clear that number of mechanical seats sir, 40 less than the number of ECE branch seats that is equal to number of ECE seats that is 250 minus 40 which is equal to 210 number of mechanical seats are 210 so this 210 is also completed for uh, mechanical still how many seats are left over this is 5 this is 1 this is 4 415 still 415 seats are left over and next uh, Coming to IT, number of IT seats. What about IT seats? 20 less than triple seats. Number of IT seats are 20 less than the triple seats. Here we got triple seats as 125. 125 minus 20, which is equal to this particular value. Here it is uh, 105. Number of IT seats are 105. 
now you just subtract 105 from the remaining 415 here it is 0 and this is 1 and this is 3 now the remaining seats available after completing ECE triple E mechanical IT which is equal to 310 and next up to here the information is done and next one is number of civil seats now we are talking about civil number of civil seats are 10 less than the number of agriculture now finally uh, I think uh, <coughs> sorry number of civil seats are uh, 10 less than agriculture agriculture minus 10 and uh, 30 less than CSC seats that means uh, and in the sense this particular information is about civil seats only number of civil seats are 30 less than 30 less than CSC CSC minus 30 and this is equal to agree minus 20 agree minus sorry agree minus 10 this is the relationship of all these three civil uh, civil CSC and agriculture now from this it is very important that let us consider let us consider number of uh, civil seats are x number of civil seats are x let us consider number of civil seats which are is equal to x then from this uh, csc seats is equal to the relationship between civil and csc that is uh, uh, civil is equal to CSC minus 30 so minus 30 goes to left side that becomes plus 30 civil value X plus 30 X plus 30 and next uh, coming to agriculture agriculture seeds civil we uh, we have taken as X so agriculture is equal to minus 10 goes to left side plus 10 X plus 10 so finally you will be having Number of civil seats are X, CSC seats are X plus 30, agriculture seats are X plus 10. And uh, from the beginning onwards, we have calculated that the remaining value. The sum of remaining all these three branches, uh, it means uh, civil plus CSC plus agriculture, CSC plus agriculture, which is equal to 310 that is the sum of all these uh, three values now from this uh, civil is equal to x csc is equal to x plus 30 agriculture is equal to x plus 10 which is equal to 310 now from this uh, x uh, 3x is equal to 30 plus 10 40 40 comes to right side 310 minus 40 which is equal to 270 now you just cancel with uh, 3 table x is equal to 90 once you got x is equal to 90 it is very easy to uh, said about uh, how many seats are for civil how many seats for csc and how many seats for agriculture x is nothing but civil civil is equal to 90 and next uh, csc csc is equal to x plus 30 that is 90 plus 30 120 120 seeds for uh, CSC and uh, finally agriculture agriculture is X plus 10 which is equal to 90 plus 10 90 plus 10 which is equal to 100 these many seeds for agriculture now look at these values these are the uh, remaining three values and these are the initial three values uh, initial four values number of uh, EC 250 number of triple e 125 number of mechanical seats 210 number of it seats uh, 105 civil 90 csc 120 agriculture 100 this is the complete information about uh, this particular passage once you got this final passage uh, and result now the problem solving is not a difficult task the uh, only time required uh, is uh, only for uh, solving this uh, passage not for solving the problems uh, problem solving is uh, maximum it will take hardly two minutes for entire all five questions uh, whereas coming to this particular passage it takes somewhat time 
to calculate each and every individual department or branch uh, branch wise uh, you know number of seats available right so uh, once the inf information is done you just go ahead with the questions look at the first question here is the first question number of uh, csc seats number of csc seats are what percent of number of ece seats now we are talking about csc and ece csc seats sir that is 120 this value csc seats are 120 whereas ece seats are 250 according to the information which we got now this particular 120 number of csc seats are what percent of number of ece seats so the required percentage so the required percentage is equal to number of csc seats that is 120 that value is what percent of ece divided by 250 into 100 whenever you are calculating percentage into 100 percentage symbol comma here it is 0 0 gets cancelled and next 25 once 25 4 times therefore the required percentage is 12 into 4 what is 12 into 4 48 the required percentage is 48 percentage 48 percentage is the right answer for this question once look at the options among the options uh, 48 is there at option b therefore option b is the right answer for this question option b next second question here the second question is uh, see second question number of mechanical seats are here we are talking about mechanical seats are what percentage more than the number of it seats here basically how can you calculate a percentage more than percentage more than which is nothing but if you want to calculate percentage more than you just take the difference between those two values it means uh, here the difference between uh, mechanical and it seats that is the difference you need to take divided by less value among those two departments less value and whenever you are calculating percentage in 200 percentage symbol that is the common point right this is the way of calculating uh, percentage more than percentage more than or percentage increment both are same now uh, again you just go with the uh, previous slide why because here we need to uh, write down the values of mechanical department and it department seats along with that uh, see uh, mechanical department branch that is uh, 210 mechanical 210 and it 105 so mechanical is 210 difference between those two 210 minus 105 divided by less value among those two which is 105 into 100 percentage into 100 percentage once look at this value here the difference is uh, uh, 210 minus 105 which is 105 105 divided by 105 into 100 percentage here 105 105 gets cancelled therefore the required percentage increment which is equal to 100 percentage it means uh, the number of mechanical seats are exactly 100 percentage more than that of number of it seats number of it seats once look at the options among the options option c is uh, the answer for this question that is 100 percentage option c let us look at the third question here the third question find the difference between here we need to calculate the difference between number of civil seats and number of ECE seats. Here direct question you need to calculate the difference difference between a civil and ECE number of civil students and number of ECE students. You need to take the difference between those two. Difference is nothing but always remember highest value minus lowest value highest value minus lowest value it is not about civil minus ece it is not about ece minus civil 
here the calculation is about highest value minus lowest value that will indicates the difference between uh, those two once look at the values once go back to the previous slide civil and ACA here EC value is 250 EC value is 250 and civil value is uh, civil value which we got it as uh, 90 so 250 and 90 that is the difference which we need to calculate here the values are uh, EC value is greater so EC value is 250 minus civil value is 90 which is equal to 250 minus 90 that particular value is 160 so that is the required difference between a number of civil students and number of EC students 160 is the required answer for this question once look at the options option A option A is the right answer for this question option A let us look at the fourth question here is the fourth question Total, how many seeds are available for agriculture and uh, triple it together? It means uh, you need to add the number of seeds which are available for agriculture and uh, triple it together. You need to add these two values. You need to add these two values. Once go back to the uh, first slide. Here, agriculture value. Triple e is 125. Agriculture is 100. Triple E value 125, agriculture value 100. Now you just add those two values. <coughs> See here, triple E is 125 and that of agriculture is 100. The sum of these two which is equal to 225. The total number of seeds which are available for both agriculture and triple E together which is equal to 225 seeds. 225 seats that is the required answer for this question total is equal to total of agriculture and uh, triple e that is 225 seats once look at the options among the options option d is the right answer for this question option d now the last question in this session which is what is the ratio of number of civil seats to the number of CSC seats in the college. See, you need to calculate the ratio of how many seats are available for civil and how many seats are available for CSC. That is the ratio you that you need to calculate. Once look at the values of civil and CSC. Here the civil value is 90 and CSC value is 120. That ratio you need to calculate. First value is civil, second value is CSC. 90 and 120. Civil is equal to 90. Civil is equal to 90. And CSC is equal to 120. This ratio you need to calculate. Here 0, 0 gets cancelled. And next uh, 3 table you can cancel with 3 table. 3, 3 sir, 3, 4 sir. Therefore the required ratio of number of civil seats and uh, number of CSC seats in the college which is 3 is to 4. 3 is to 4 is the required ratio of number of civil and number of CSC seats. Once look at the options among the options option A is the right answer for this question option A. Guys in this way you need to solve the problems based on uh, this kind of uh, case led data interpretation. I hope you understand each and every problem in this session. Thank you. Thanks for watching.